Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is C Chronicles. Thank you for joining me today. If you are my returning subscriber, thank you for coming along. I appreciate you as always. And if you're still new, uh, if it's your first time here, I do fragrance reviews, I do lifestyle videos, fashion videos, and much, much more. So if it sounds like something that you're interested in, I hope you do consider subscribing before you leave. Uh, today I am bringing you a uh, fragrance um, uh, episode. This is not going to be a fragrance review, but uh, this is a uh, video I've put together because I happen to buy fragrances from Middle Eastern, from a Middle Eastern company. Or companies and then discovered that these fragrances smell the same so I wasted my money and and you don't have to waste yours so this is why I've uh, decided to pull out two fragrances in my collection that are, that are similar they smell the same these fragrances actually are dupes to a designer fragrance and I'm gonna be telling you which designer fragrance that is uh, but um, like I said this is a video about fragrances in my collection that smell exactly the same and these are the fragrances in question I have never done a review of this one because uh, you know first I thought well I don't think there's a need for me to to do a review for it uh, considering that uh, I've already I'm going to be talking about what I've done I've spoken about in this video then I uh, thought of you know how best to present this and I thought okay fine I am going to do this fragrance I'm going to bring this fragrance to you and you know you know explain to you why I didn't do a review of it this one is called Destiny Sheer by the house uh, Verve and this one is called Da Al Hanin by Ad Al Zafaran. Uh, if you've been watching me from the beginning or you haven't, uh, I did a review of this fragrance. I grouped it together with three fragrances that I felt uh, and, and I titled the video uh, Middle Eastern fragrances that are worth the hype. I will link this description. I will link that video in the description box below uh, so that if you want an in-depth review, uh, you can go to that video. Okay. So so, like I said, I wasted my money. You don't have to waste yours. These are two different companies. This is Ad Al, Al Zafran and this is Verve. They're both Middle Eastern uh, companies. Verve, I think, is a subsidiary of Latafa because Latafa markets Verve. Now, these two fragrances smell like DKNY's Be Delicious. If you watched that video that I was talking about, DKNY's Be Delicious, uh, the one in a green um the one that's presented in a green uh, bottle i know they all most of them are apples if not all but i'm talking about the green apple okay so donna karen's uh be delicious is a freshy if you know that fragrance it's got some cucumber it's got some apples some grapefruit which i perceive from these ones um middle eastern fragrances or the fragrance houses do not actually really have a lot of, a lot of information on the uh internet about their notes and stuff like that but Having used DKNY's Be Delicious before, I can almost certainly say these fragrances are inspired by that. Now, in terms of similarities, which is why I came here, these two fragrances are exactly the same to my nose. Okay, I get Lily of the Valley, I get Green Apple, uh, I Granny uh, Green Apple, I get some grapefruit, some magnolia, I get the woodsiness, the Lily of the Valley, a bit of some tuberose, some violet, some amber, and some sandalwood. Um, these two fragrances, like I said, are freshy. They are summery fragrances. Uh, they're slightly green. There's a green tang to it, to them. So if you like that greenness, yes, they do have that greenness. They're uh, also a bit uh, shampoo-y, uh, you know. Uh, but if you, you've got to like the combo of the apple and the cucumber, which is uh, what Donna Karen's uh, D, uh, Be Delicious is all about. That's exactly what you get in these fragrances. They're not exactly groundbreaking, but if, you want, uh, if you're that kind of person that likes soft fragrances, uh, if you're one of those uh, persons that like uh, comforting uh, fragrances, fragrances that are a bit warm, super summery, this is what you get. Whether or not you need both, I definitely say no. You know, if you can access this one or you already have this one and you were wondering about this one, you were dying to buy this one, I would say, you know, save your money. This is exactly the same thing, you know, or vice versa in case you have this one and you were wondering about this one. You know, I just bought this one because of this obnoxious big, uh, you know, bottle here, uh, this gigantic bottle. That's what 
drew me to it and I bought it as a blind buy. Uh, but when I came home with it, you know, I sniffed them side by side and it was exactly the same thing. Uh, and in terms of what they were cloning, they were both cloning, you know, the DKNY Be Delicious. There might be slight differences, but that's the vibe. That's what I get. If that's your sort of thing, you know, uh, then uh, you, I would say definitely go ahead and buy them. But if, if, if it's something that you, you know, you do not like or you've used that DKNY and you don't like it, you are just going to be replicating that one if you purchase either one of, of, of these fragrances. In terms of the money, uh, price, uh, these are affordable fragrances. Again, Middle Eastern fragrances, most of them are super, super affordable. Uh, quality wise, they're both good. I get um, about four hours on each, uh, of course, with some reapplication. If you, you know, like your fragrance to, 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 to go the whole nine yards, I get some reapplication. Complicators, not so much. Uh, compliment getters, not so much because these are soft fragrances, like I said. So yeah, if it sounds like something that you are interested in or you were wondering and you've been following my channel and you looked at these fragrances and thought oh what am i missing no these fragrances are just one and the same thing but in two different bottles this is a different company this is verve and this is Ad -Ar zaafaran i've done a review of this one i will link it in the description box you can go watch that one if you want an in-depth review of what it's like but they're all both apple uh, apple uh, based fragrances so i hope you did find this uh, review or this um chat uh useful uh, this is just you know in an effort to save you some money because i do you know uh have a lot of middle eastern fragrances in my collection i'm just intrigued by middle eastern fragrances uh, these two houses do designer inspired by although they do not claim to be you know clone houses or anything like that verve i've noticed uh, most of the fragrances that they present are you know already there in the designer market uh some even with Ad -A -A al zafaran uh you know they most of the fragrances that they present are already on the market although they do not claim to be uh, cloning any fragrances uh, so i just thought i should do a quick video for you just to let you know on that i think i have another video that i'm going to throw in that is in the similar vibe because i do have another fragrance that i picked up from my designer collection that happens to you know uh, uh be in my collection in uh, triple in triples is it uh if ever there's that word you know because i bought these middle eastern fragrances and i sniffed them and i was like oh no, this is this this is this fragrance is like this one is like this one yeah so i'm gonna save you uh the stress of wondering uh and i'll bring you uh those videos to you uh if i have if I, I know for sure i do have one left but i will you know definitely see if i have more uh of comparison videos and then uh if you're curious then at least you get to know uh what this fragrance are about thank you very much for coming along i do hope you did subscribe if you hadn't uh and i do hope you like comment and share uh do let me know what you think about these middle eastern fragrances uh, do you own any or do you plan to uh, buy any? Let's meet in the comment section where we discuss as always. And uh, remember, guys, stay safe and smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.